hi that's a beast of a logical expression right c is normally cryptic but this is one of the more cryptic expressions even by c standards actually both beginning programmers and beginning programming students find such expressions difficult to understand in this video we will break this down into pieces so that we can understand how to read such complex expressions let's try and break it down into pieces how do you even think about breaking it down into pieces there are three parts to the right hand side a less than 0 multiplied by 2 multiplied by a multiplied by 2 and multiplied by a are fairly straightforward so we need to consider what is the meaning of a less than 0 by the way this is c code so a less than 0 while being a boolean expression in c will and can take numeric values so there are two cases a is positive or a is negative let us draw a table for positive and negative values of a what is a less than 0 if it is positive a less than 0 is false which translates to 0 if it is negative a less than 0 is true which translates to 1 so what about the rest of the expression this translates to 0 into something into something which is 0 this translates to 1 into 2 into a which is the same as 2a so now we can understand the whole expression as if a is positive if a is positive it is a minus equal to 0 in other words the expression evaluates to a if a is negative on the other hand it evaluates to a minus 2a or minus a remember a is negative so this means the positive value of a will be returned so this complicated expression is actually nothing but a very convoluted way of implementing the abs function if a is negative return the positive value if a is positive return the value I hope you saw how even such a complicated expression could be broken down into pieces by studying different cases and then evaluating in small pieces. We will do similar exercises to help us understand complicated logical expressions in other videos. Thank you. Hi, that's a pretty tough looking ternary operator expression. Expressions like these generally make beginning students of C and even beginning programmers in C a little wary of the language. Actually ternary operators allow us to write very concise expressions. You just need to learn to read them. Just like advanced idioms in the English language make the language richer, experienced programmers use such idioms well. We have got a very easy way using cards again for you to understand searching easily. I have cards numbered from 10 to 95 with some missing with me. I will be using these to demonstrate how linear search and binary search work. Alright, let us start looking for the card.